Uh, hello everyone. Uh, this is the second part of uh, linear and nonlinear backlink analysis of uh, lipid C-section profile. In the previous uh, tutorial, we have conducted a backlink analysis, with which we will determine the uh, eigen mode of the structure, and then we took that eigen mode and uh, multiplied by the applied load, which is the backlink or critical load, which caused the structure or that specific element should back. And then uh, um, we can go quickly check again, and this is the, the, the model uh, which has uh, these properties. This is the section, this is the materials, and next we go to the property here, and you can see the still is AIS uh, I316, which has a modulus lossy 193 picopascal and 0.3 portion ratio and the plastic modulus is 219 has a yellow string and 580 which is 40 percent elongation as an ultimate string then we created a section which is uniform all the leaves and flange and web is uh, 10 millimeter and we assign the section to the uh, entire profile uh, we uh, in the first we go to the step uh, the first part we conducted a uh, now it's linear before we used backlink this one so the second is linear static linear perturbation which is equal linear backlink analysis now in the second part we will use uh, nonlinear backlink analysis so for the nonlinear backlink analysis we uh, go to the, the results uh, you can take from here from that backlink mode shape again value 2.123 and uh, this is quite large the deformation we need 600 we need taking 2.5 so the backlink area will be this flange and also this leap as you can see and uh, this time we will take this number and multiplying by the giving load which is uh, here this is the load uh, 2.3 and we will use this this load and and applying to a nonlinear static and then we will uh, see uh, which the uh, this beam will uh, back all during that load so this go to visualization and it's with two one two three one so I want to take that two one two three one and I go to the step and in this time I will use uh, I can uh, replace this one replace using uh, this one general and using static general so I can consider the time period would be one and here is the nonlinear geometry which we want to activate it and this increment give 100 so that the load uh, always uh, we apply the load is slowly actually uh, it's not immediate that you put uh, like one megapascal on the surface of this this profile so we slowly giving uh, 0.1 we totally take one uh, 20 steps 20 23 steps so maximum be here and the minimum be a small number this be minus 15 okay now we define uh, the type of the analysis so other parameter is the same and we just change this uh, loading again to one two one three uh, previous was one to three which is quite larger because it's megapascal per uh, newton per millimeter or megapascal was quite large and when it's smaller and we want to use this one. now we go again to the uh, job and creating called nonlinear backlink analysis or NBA we can nonlinear backlink analysis and you can change something if you, in case if you use different uh, uh, computer uh, with different core you can personalize it and uh, use multiple cores. They keep default 
so submit it and it take a while to finish and now it's start running um, so b remember that in a previous was a uh, linear in the linear the analysis speed is quite fast when using nonlinear so because the nonlinearity will affect uh, uh, the analysis time and it takes uh, quite large amounts of time to finish and now the analysis uh, not completed but uh, the attempt uh, the attempt uh, was uh, quite large it take, uh, take to six attempt and finally we got an error it's called too many attempt made for this increment so now uh, I should discuss this because the structure when we applied that uh, that amounts of load, it already reached to the nonlinear path, and we uh, the structure seems quite unstable. So the the deformation is quite large, and the structure, the system or the computer will not actually solve more equations during the large displacement. In case if you we want to. Uh, to uh, to take the end of the one uh, second, so we should increase uh, the attempt and the increment times. Uh, for this problem, to solve this problem, we can go to the step and we just go to edit, and we want to use this one. We called using. Um, um, uh, we want to just create this one. You can use this, uncheck this one and then we go back and uh, resubmit it we're going to resubmit now we can go to monitor and now you can see the uh, total time is increased from 0 0.19 to 0 0.2 so uh, it's very optimistic uh, when you uncheck that uh, that uh, option so you will finish uh, the analysis until the giving uh, time of increments now the analysis completed and to the uh, total time of frequency time and frequency is one minute and it take it, it so that uh, command can solve this uh, too many attempts so we're gonna go to the results and we're gonna see how the uh, backlink is uh, displayed in the second nonlinear analysis so the uh, this is a very quite large and it's 2.5 and 1 and this is it so you can see when apply when you apply that uh, load so the beam which is a uh, uniform loading so it will be completely back all and the maximum uh, stress will be reached to the ultimate and also the displacement will be more than uh, its a vertical displacement is maximum you can see here uh, 27 millimeter in the last step and now uh, this is uh, finished and we want to draw one more thing and just I want to take uh, a displacement curve and creating uh, this one I'm gonna just miss a stress and going to be this this uh, defined with uh, maximum principle or uh, with this you select uh, integration point and select one element and uh, the program will automatically take integration from that element and plot for you and we can see here this is the nonlinear behavior of the element and if I uh, report this one this is stress strain uh, make a combination you know, create uh, combine operate and you know, combine and using a, a maximum principle as a X and then uh, the one matrix in a uh, in direction one which is x and or using y you can uh, see here the response is almost same so you can use one of them the vertical the stress so now I can plot the expression and you can see here this is the curve 
so this is the curve is come to elastic and that we have uh, one elastic uh, which we applied in the second ultimate and then uh, when it's increased the, the strain see the strain is increased so you can see here is a significant dropping which means that some part of the element is actually fractured or cut it so this is the result uh, to 0 point uh, or, or for 60 percent or 40 percent uh, strain is okay enough and we can uh, go to here edit and we want to take to 0 0.5 so this one is I think uh, uh, I, I, I'm gonna delete this one you can go delete it delete it and, and okay and you can see uh, this curve is for the 60% strain is quite good now this is the nonlinear buckling analysis and during this buckling analysis you will see how the structure or edge element is uh, response during the uh, uh, uniform uh, loading and you also can uh, create the displacement curve uh, force displacement with taking the actual force uh, the reaction force and also the mid uh, point displacement uh, so that's all for this tutorial if you have any question please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you see you next time